Chapter 47 Then the man brought me back to the entrance of the temple. There I saw a stream flowing eastward from beneath the temple threshold. This stream then passed to the right of the altar on its south side. The man brought me outside the wall through the north gateway and led me around to the eastern entrance. There I could see the stream flowing out through the south side of the east gateway. Measuring as he went, he led me along the stream for 1,750 feet and told me to go across. At that point, the water was up to my ankles. He measured off another 1,750 feet and told me to go across again. This time, the water was up to my knees. After another 1,750 feet, it was up to my waist. Then he measured another 1,750 feet, and the river was too deep to cross without swimming. He told me to keep in mind what I had seen. Then he led me back along the river bank. Suddenly, to my surprise, many trees were now growing on both sides of the river. Then he said to me, This river flows east through the desert into the Jordan Valley, where it enters the Dead Sea. The waters of this stream will heal the salty waters of the Dead Sea and make them fresh and pure. Everything that touches the water of this river will live. Fish will abound in the Dead Sea, for its waters will be healed. Wherever this water flows, everything will live. Fishermen will stand along the shores of the Dead Sea, fishing all the way from En Gedi to En Eglaim. The shores will be covered with nets drying in the sun. Fish of every kind will fill the Dead Sea, just as they fill the Mediterranean. But the marshes and swamps will not be purified, they will be sources of salt. All kinds of fruit trees will grow along both sides of the river. The leaves of these trees will never turn brown and fall, and there will always be fruit on their branches. There will be a new crop every month without fail, for they are watered by the river flowing from the temple. The fruit will be for food and the leaves for healing. This is what the Sovereign Lord says. Follow these instructions for dividing the land for the twelve tribes of Israel. The tribe of Joseph will be given two shares of land, Otherwise, each tribe will receive an equal share. I swore that I would give this land to your ancestors, and it will now come to you as your inheritance. The northern border will run from the Mediterranean toward Hethlon, then on through Libo Hemath to Zidad. Then it will run to Berotha and Sibrim, which are on the border between Damascus and Hamath, and finally to Hazer Hatakon on the border of Hauran. So the northern border will run from the Mediterranean to Hazarinan, on the border between Hamath to the north and Damascus to the south. The eastern border starts at a point between Hauran and Damascus and runs southward along the Jordan River between Israel and Gilead, past the Dead Sea, and as far south as Tamar. This will be the eastern border. The southern border will go west from Tamar to the waters of Meribah at Kadesh, and then follow the course of the brook of Egypt to the Mediterranean. This will be the southern border. On the west side, the Mediterranean itself will be your border from the southern border to the point where the northern border begins opposite Libuchema. Divide the land within these boundaries among the tribes of Israel. Distribute the land as an inheritance for yourselves and for the foreigners who have joined you and are raising their families among you. They will be just like native-born Israelites to you they will receive an inheritance among the tribes. All these immigrants are to be given land within the territory of the tribe with whom they now live. I, the Sovereign Lord, have spoken.